Welcome back everyone to another update here at Hall Barn Road. So once again, I'm here for our monthly valuation with a contractor. Um, we'll have a walk around the site in a second to show you what's been going on. Uh, as you can see, we've had some progress on the roofs on our first two plots here. They're a little bit delayed because of some bad weather, but overall we are plowing ahead with the rest of the site and still one month ahead of programme, which is absolutely amazing going into any bad weather before Christmas. But let's have a look around in the first instance, then I'll talk you through what's been going on. Updates from last month, we finally have some trusses on, which is super exciting. Houses are starting to take shape. Brickwork has progressed, uh, particularly around the side and the back of the site. We have, and I believe as of tomorrow, all plots will be, all the open market plots will be screeded. So we'll be up to finished floor level on every single one of the open market plots. That does mean that the underfloor heating has had to go in because as I explained last month, we have to protect the um, insulated flooring. So that's been absolutely um, progressing like mad across the last month. We have had a couple of delays because of some rain, but other than that, we're absolutely flying and the houses are really starting to take shape now. As you can see around me, we now have trusses up on our first house type. When we were here last month, I was really excited to get these on and they weren't, they were here delivered, but they weren't up yet. We had a little bit of a delay getting them on because of some bad weather, but they're finally on the first house type. It's just really exciting because you can actually see this house starting to take shape. So this is the upper floor. We're about to walk into what will be the master bedroom on this particular house type. But what we have here is uh, an interesting roof, which is a combination of a cut roof and a attic truss. And the beauty of that is they're designed to give us as much space up and around us as possible. So sometimes when you build on a roof space, it can feel a bit small. It can feel a little bit like a converted loft or attic. Whereas we purposely wanted high up stands and big trusses. So as you can see behind me, we've got a huge amount of space and actually you can get right up next to these walls without having to duck or dodge. Purposely tested this morning with uh, everyone on site. And like you say, how often do you actually stand? You don't, do you? No, no. You know, you've always got a bedside table or a chest of drawers or something, so. I'm really pleased with this um, progression. I'll just show you the other element of this house type as well. But next week, we're gonna have um, felt going on the roof and the roof covering started. So leading up to Christmas, we're gonna really be getting this first run of four units uh, watertight, which is, yeah, so exciting. We're currently in the secondary bedroom for this house type, although personally, I would have this as my master because it is my preference of room type, simply for the oversized dormer that you see behind me. I think in a house type like this, where we have somewhat restricted head height, oversized dormers like the one behind me are such a great addition because they add so much space and natural light into a room. So this would be my bedroom if it was my choice. But like I said, you can see the kind of space that it's adding, but most importantly, this is gonna be one big window behind me, just so much natural light, which for me, I'm, I'm, I'm big on natural light in a room, so this would be my bedroom, but buyer's choice. Final update for the interior of the properties is the staircase. So above the staircase, we're gonna have a lovely big Velux window, um, which is gonna allow for a lot of natural light moving through the property. So this hole currently to the left of me is eventually gonna have our staircase in and our hallway at the top of the stairs. In today's meeting, we actually decided to upgrade the specification, very similar in price to provide glass balustrades um, as opposed to standard wooden ones. It looks luxurious, feels luxurious, so we decided it was the best decision. So hopefully soon we'll be able to see those. Here we have an open porch in these properties, which I think is a really lovely feature. Sometimes people will put little boot stands, things like that. We are in the countryside here, so people are gonna have muddy wellies. We're then gonna have our front door here, um, going into the property. So over to this side, we have our lounge, one of my favorite rooms in this particular house type because it has a huge span window, which allows in so much natural light and also just gives it a really modern feel, although we are in a more rural location. Here, we've got our hallway leading to the kitchen diner, but also we're gonna have stairs here eventually with a study um, behind us. So study or playroom, depending how the family might choose to use it. And then we get into our main um, hosting space back here. 
This is the main hosting space of the house. Behind me is going to be an open plan kitchen, diner, living room area. So this again, we're gonna have lovely bifold doors, French doors, full floor to ceiling windows, so much natural light. You're gonna hear me talk about it all the time. I think it is one of the biggest selling points of a house. So here is gonna be a lovely lounge and then in front of me here is gonna be ultimately our kitchen. So every kitchen is going to have an island. For me, that is such an important thing because I just remember growing up, we always would huddle around the island as a family. So when we were designing these, I said they absolutely have to have an island. So in future videos, obviously you'll see these kitchens going in, but I'm so excited to see the space come to life and actually start feeling like a home. Through here, we're gonna have a small utility. So um, not massive, just enough to have um, our washer, dryer, and some further storage. I think it's always good to have a room you can close the door to when you've got a load of mess. As I mentioned, we've been here for our monthly valuation this morning. So the valuation is something that we have to do every month, and it's essentially to do a couple of things. One, assess progress, assess what's gonna happen in the month moving forward. And importantly, we're gonna sign off on the um, cost. So how much is the contractor charging us for the last months of work? Did we bring it in with a slight overspend on the m &E, I think it was 12 grams in my month. Very, yeah. very I think that's similar. what I reported to the bank Rosie, in my last call. Yeah. So I'll need to add on the six grand for the insurance. So we get here every single month. We first of all have a walk around the site. Myself, John, the main guy at the contractor, normally David, my employer's agent, and anyone else that wants to join. We walk around, obviously see the progress, normally discuss that we're all very happy with it. We discuss any uh, negative points that maybe have happened or details that need to be discussed or agreed. But what, they, they couldn't send them pre-cut? Not really, it's always better They're to all cut over them on site. Yeah. You're not going to get them exactly. The, yeah. Probably a 25 mil variation yeah. Um, yeah. from plot to plot, plot to and everything. Sort of flood, yeah. 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 The, the, the matching, the colour of the mortar. Yeah. Um, the you know the batching. The That's what I mean. The it's more the batching that well, yeah. beyond obviously just decent quality brickwork, but the, it's the yeah, batching the, the, that. The, the brickwork quality looks fine to me. I feel like if we went with like the classic beige, yeah. I feel like it would detract from the yeah. kind of like more modern feel we were going for. And then we all pile into the site office to sit and talk about the details. So in that, we're discussing, one, the progress that has been made on every single element of the build in the past month. We discuss the intended progress to be made for the month moving forward. We discuss any action items. So that can be things that maybe I need to do. Like in the last meeting, I had to pick some finishes for tiles. So I think what I'm going to do is half of the 12, six will be in this. Um, it could be things to do with the utilities providers. I've got you know the BT open reach to agree over the coming months. So it's action points for myself. It could be action points from the contractor, like they needed to send me some internal door things for me to pick from, action points for them, or it could be action points for the employer's agent. I need to get, um, I actually, it was on my list to call them today, the people that cleared this site before you guys came to come and cut this hedge. Uh, they were here when we arrived one day. Yeah, they? once we've discussed the progress and the planned progress for the coming month, we often look at the cost. So what is my bill for the last month of works? Uh, obviously, it's very important. Money makes the world go round. We've got costs associated with supporting that work, exactly. which we'll be doing two lots of. Mm. As you said, or we'll be living over trenches which we don't want. So you can distribute the power to the unit and then that somebody's got to pay for that basically at some point. Yeah. yeah. Again, which will be the management one, I suppose, won't it? Once we have this valuation, it's signed off and agreed with myself and David Drew, our employer's agent. That then goes to the bank and the bank have to have it signed off by our IMS. So our monitoring surveyor, who essentially is another QS. So that's the second QS in the project or third, if you include the contractors one, who will then come around. I'll walk around site and I'll say, look, this is what they're claiming for. Here's all the lovely works that have been done. Please, can you say yes? She will look at that against our initial report make sure that everything is on budget, on target, where it needs to be, and she will sign it off, hopefully, and say yes to the bank, you can send them the money that they have requested for the month. So on average, each month on this project, we're claiming for about half a million pounds worth of works. So we've got to make sure that obviously all the professionals are looking at it where they need to, everyone's in agreement, and that things aren't being claimed for when they shouldn't be, or that we're not falling behind schedule. So we do this every single month to monitor all those things about the project and also just have a good catch up about how things are going. 
And what we do is as we're pouring, we're checking, and obviously we're checking as soon as we pour, because if we've got a leak, we need to be getting that off and finding it. Yeah. Okay, that's it for this month's video. Hopefully you guys found that update exciting. In the next month, as I said, we're gonna have some roof coverings going on. So it's really gonna start looking like houses around here. I'll see you guys next month. As was fun.